Buhari's Christmas bonus for the police. They were born just like any other person. They have fathers, mothers, uncles, aunts, wives, children, just like the next man or woman. They pound their beats, in thunder, lightning or rain. The sun beats them till their eyes almost pop out of the sockets. But we accord them no respect, we esteem them as men of sorrow, acquainted with grief. They are policemen, and must be treated like something the cat dragged in, article of no commercial value. During the NSARS protests of October 2020, see what happened to our cops, 39 were killed, with one roasted and eaten, 210 injured, their stations and barracks worth N11.6 billion were burned, along with 198 police vehicles, 9 armored personnel cars. Also raised were police communication equipment worth N5.8 billion, and 422 exhibit vehicles valued at N5.5 billion. The police were the main reason the protests took place in the first instance, but then, do you first annihilate an institution that needs reforms? They had their excesses, but is decapitation the cure for headache? President Muhammadu Buhari in the wake of the end SARS protests promised to reform the police, including looking into their welfare and enhancing their status. It is now promise made, and promise kept, as the Federal Executive Council unfolded a new deal for the police. It is like a Christmas bonus, which came at the end of the year. Following the promise of the president in 2020, probe panels were instituted by states to look into the excesses of the police and recommend sanctions and compensations where necessary, while a stakeholders committee was also set up to look into the welfare of the police. See the parlous conditions of members of an institution we gave arms and ammunition to, and we asked to protect us. At least 1,898 personnel were not paid outstanding insurance benefits for the period of 2013 to 2020. Death benefits were not paid to families of 5,472 personnel, who died on active duty between 2013 and 2021. Financial claims amounted to 1,128, 174, 150.00 Naira in respect of the 1,898 uninsured personnel. Death benefits amounted to 13,127,197,269.48 Naira while burial expenses amounted to 1,234,520.000 Naira for personnel who died between 2012 and 2021. A working group set up at the instance of President Buhari, came up with recommendations, which have now been approved by the Federal Executive Council. They include The release of over 1 billion 128 million for the payment of outstanding benefits to 1,898 personnel for the period 2013 to 2020. The release of over 13 billion for the payment of outstanding death benefits. Tax waiver in the sum of over 18 billion naira per annum for all junior personnel in order to increase their take home emoluments. Increase of rent subsidy from 15 to 20 percent to 40 percent of the consolidated police salary structure, COMPAS. Payment of additional 6% shift duty allowance. Payment of 20% of Compass's peculiar allowance to boost morale and take home pay of the police. All these and more are to take effect from the 2022 Appropriation Act, thus improving the welfare of our police personnel. Picture shows President Mohamedou Buhari, first left, in an emergency Security Council meeting with service chiefs today at State House, Abuja Photo, Aso Rock. Will it automatically translate to better behavior and elimination of bribery and corruption? Not by the waving of a wand, but it would signpost the beginning of caring for the police. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. History will record President Buhari as the man who began to take practical steps in repositioning the welfare of the police. They would no longer be regarded as scum and would earn respect from a society that loves to look down on them. I tell you, this president cares. Views Exclusive Rights, Femi Adesina, Special Advisor to President Buhari on Media and Publicity, December 23, 2021. Kindly support our vision of building a community of one million Penn soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. Why President Mohamedou Buhari gave Christmas bonus to police, Femi Adesina, December 24, 2021. Buhari's Christmas bonus for the police they were born just like any other person. They have fathers, mothers, uncles, aunts, I did my best to make it work, endures many times, Uni of Ife not truly what he is outside, 
Sa Konola Naomi December 23, 2021 Evangelist Sa Konola Naomi has said she did not divorce the Uni of Ife, Oba Adaya Ogwenbusi because the king was, ex-council boss Pascal Ugbom Beg school alumni to help government step up educational growth in Nigeria December 22, 2021. By Aikili Abalu, Benin City President of Our Lady of Fatima College, Achi, Old Boys Association, Honorable Pascal Ugbom, said, Nigerian army arresting female soldier for accepting marriage proposal is madness, Reno Omokri December 22, 2021. Former presidential spokesperson to Good Luck Abel Jonathan on New Media, Reno Omokri has urged authorities in the Nigerian army to, hashtag North is bleeding, killing 45 farmers, injuring scores in Nasarawa is heart-wrenching, Buhari December 22, 2021. President Muhammadu Buhari has described as heart-wrenching the mass killing of 45 farmers and injuring of scores of other.